we now discuss the solution of a problem from the section integral calculus the problem is related to definite integral in fact it is uh, the it is to find the solution of an integral equation the definition of the integral equation we will give you at the time of the discussion of the problem now this question has appeared in the joint entrance examination main held on 29th june 2022 in the second shift the given question is let f be a real value continuous function on the closed interval 0 to 1 and f of x is equal to x plus integral integral 0 to 1 x minus t into ft dt then which of the following points x comma y lies on the curve y is equal to f of x we are given four options option a 2 comma 4 option b the ordered pair 1 comma 2 option c 4 comma 17 option d 6 comma 8 we are given an equation like this f of x is equal to x plus integral definite integral 0 to 1 x minus t of t dt and f is given to be a real valued continuous function defined on the closed interval 0 to 1 now we have to discuss which of the following four points lie on the curve y is equal to f of x where f of x is given by this equation we now discuss the solution of the problem in detail we are given f is a real valued continuous function defined on the closed interval 0 comma 1 and f of x given to be equal to f of x is equal to x plus integral 0 to 1 x minus t multiplied by f of t dt it is a, a an integral equation what is an integral equation an an equation in which the unknown function f of x appears under the integral sign under the integral sign is called an integral equation so in this f of x is the unknown function and uh, the, this is appearing under the integral sign also so such an equation is called an integral equation anyway anyway this is the equation given to us let us take that much only right so we take the equation write it as f of x is equal to x plus integral 0 to 1 x f t we are separating the terms minus integral 0 to 1 t f t dt and the integration is with respect to t therefore the x will come out as so this will be x plus x times integral 0 to 1 f of t dt minus integral 0 to 1 t f t dt now take x common take x common so this will be in brackets 1 plus integral 0 to 1 f of t dt multiplied by x x is taken common so minus integral 0 to 1 t f t dt this we take it as a a x minus this we take it as b minus b so this we write it as ax minus b where a is 1 plus integral 0 to 1 f of t dt and b is equal to integral 0 to 1 t f t dt so f of x comes out to be a linear equation a, a linear equation so f of x is equal to a, ax minus b will imply f of t is also equal to at minus b because f of t is appearing under the integral sign here anyway we continue in the next slide and we will find what are the values of a and b so that's what we have done so far so first we evaluate a we have a is equal to 1 plus integral 0 to 1 ft dt agreed agreed so that will be equal to 
1 plus integral 0 to 1 f of t is a t minus b every time integrate if you integrate a t square by 2 minus b t to be evaluated under the limits 0 to 1 so 1 plus this to be evaluated from t is equal to 0 to 1 so if you evaluate 1 plus for the upper limit a by 2 minus b for the lower limit it is 0 so you got a is equal to 1 plus a by 2 minus b send this a by 2 to the other side then a minus a by 2 is a by 2 a by 2 is equal to 1 minus b and take the lcm so you will get a is equal to 2 minus 2p let us call this as the equation 1 so to evaluate this b we have b is integral 0 to 1 t f t and that is equal to integral 0 to 1 t into f t is a t minus b with respect to t and this is uh, multiply integral 0 to 1 a t square minus b t with respect to d t. So if you integrate it will be a t cube by 3 minus b t square by 2 to be evaluated between the limits uh, t is equal to 0 to 1 and for the upper limit it will be a by 3 minus b by 2 for the lower limit it is 0. So, thus we got b is equal to a by 3 minus b by 2, send this b by 2 the other side, then it will be b plus b by 2, that is 3b by 2 is equal to a by 3. And take the l, take, uh, now we want a, let us say, we want a, let us say, a is equal to 9b by 2, 9b by 2, so let's call this as the equation 2. So, the equation 1 is a is equal to 2 minus 2b, equation 2 is a is equal to 9b by 2. It is very easy to solve these equations for the values of a and b. On solving, we get a is equal to 18 by 13 and b is equal to 4 by 13. Then y is equal to f of x. What is f of x? f of x is ax minus b. So, f of x is ax minus b, a is 18 by 13 times x minus b is 4 by 13. This is y is equal to f of x curve, y is equal to f of x curve. Now the question is which of the following points lie on the curve y is equal to f of x. f of x is 18 by 13 x minus 4 by 13, it is a linear equation, it is a straight line, y is equal to 18 by 13 x minus 4 by 13 is a straight line. Which of the which of these uh, points lie lie on the curve y is equal to f x? So let us first of all take the first choice. If a x is equal to 2, then substitute y is equal to f of 2 will be a times a means 18 by 13 times 2 minus 4 by 13. When you evaluate it is 32 by 13 which is not equal to 4. Therefore, 2 comma 4 does not lie on the curve y is equal to fx. Thus, you, you have uh, overruled the option A. And uh, similarly, 1 comma 2, 4 comma 17 do not lie on the curve y is equal to f of x. Therefore, B and C are also, options are also not true. So, let us see the, now y is equal to f of 6 that is, you are substituting x is equal to 6, it will be 18 by 13 times 6 minus 4 by 13 and 18 6 jar 1 not 4 by 13. After simplification you get 1 not 4 by 13 that is precisely 8. That's, that means 6 comma 8 lies on the curve y is equal to f of x. Therefore option D is your answer. The answer to this question is option D. That is the detailed discussion of the solution of the problem from the section integral calculus and which is based on solving in a given integral equation and it is definitely a good question and uh, now, uh, you know worth reading it and enjoy how to solve an integral equation. So, I am sure that you have understood the solution of this problem and I wish you all the best. Thank you.